Video games have, have been like a really big part of my life cool. for a very long time, and it's been a window into music in many ways. It's just something that I've always been drawn to, and even to this day, I still enjoy a lot. My parents, I think, probably thought I would grow out of it at some point. I just turned 30. It's like, what am I doing playing video games? <laughs> You're just going deeper but, into it. Now. But, you know, I, I think uh, I think there's sort of a, at least culturally, there's more of an understanding that um, that video games are, are surpassing the the children's thing. Like, mm. it's not just for kids mm. anymore. Right. Like, most games that come out now are very adult-oriented. Right. And I think I definitely feel a part of that generation that grew up with those, like, you know, kind of silly Super Mario games, which are awesome, but yeah. kind of childish. And now to... You know, were serious games with like pretty, pretty interesting storytelling and the Master Spy soundtrack. Yeah, I listened to it today. Yeah, and it's really cool. Like Thank I you. think definitely different than the stuff I had known. I feel like it's a pretty well-rounded game. It's a very difficult game. I don't know if you got a chance to play. Yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't play it, but yeah. I just watched it being played out. It, it seems pretty tough. It, it's pretty difficult. They made it as quick as possible, so you can just jump right back into the level and you know die again and then start over keep again. Trying keep trying it. Keep yeah, trying it. Then. When you finally beat that level, it's like. Ah, uh, yeah. finally. And you yeah. get kind of a rush because you, you, you finally got through it. And then you're on a level that's even harder. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it came together because uh, it, it was a friend of mine from college. He was working on this game, and he, had, he already had a composer. And the guy, like, kind of just stopped replying to emails and, like, backed out of it. Mm. And I don't remember if I hit him up or he hit me up or however it came about, but it was just like, hey, we should do this. And um, I've been wanting to do video games video game soundtracks for a long time. At first I thought I could do it like in a month and <laughs> <laughs> just didn't happen. <laughs> did not. It took, it took me like over a year okay. and granted it, it gave the game some time to develop to, sure. to mature a little bit. What were a few, a few things that you used specifically maybe to get that sound that yeah. you were looking for or? Well, a lot of the equipment I use is like 80s, like late 70s, 80s stuff. So, um, which is also very finicky. Like to get a, com a modern computer to interface with old equipment is kind of tricky sometimes. You have to have like different routers or different extensions. Yeah, it's like, like it's that. they're speaking two different languages. That kind of creates a unique flavor too. Right. So because sometimes it messes it messes up, and you have to you know kind of just go with it. You know? Yeah. I'm very uh, into analog gear because it's it's kind of a almost like a living machine in a sure. way. It's, it's very uh, different, temperamental. Depending on the temperature, it'll sound one way or yeah. another. And, and then you, you're just naming them along the way, or you're... It's just, you don't, you can't, you can't save it. Okay, you, it's okay. Just, that's, that's what happened in that moment in time, and yeah. you can never replicate it. When you put all that stuff together, I think it eventually helps me create like a more unique sound. Sure. With the Master Spy soundtrack, it was... Uh, well, I, I knew what I, wa what I didn't want to do. Okay. And, and what, what I didn't want to do is do like the the cookie cutter like 8-bit soundtrack you know because that's been done and it's been done very well yeah it's been done for years and years and years and like I just, I just didn't feel like that was relevant and like I wanted to um, create a soundtrack that was fitting for the game but not necessarily just chip tune it's not like Mega Man where yeah, it's yeah. just like the do 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 yeah, do, yeah. do 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 it's a game that you're going to be playing over over and over and over again like how do I make music that uh, doesn't get annoying right. after you know uh long like extended periods of time that's something that i try to do is like you know keep it keep the quality very high but also you know keep it moving at all times sure, so sure. to be specific i used like uh it's like the roland juno 60 which is like one of my favorites and um it's like it's it came out like 82 or something like that. It's like been around longer than i have. yeah <laughs> seriously and uh yeah it, i don't know it's it, it was really fun and it the Part of the reason why I like using instruments like that is that they're tactile. So, um, you know, all this whole digital revolution is, is amazing and great. You can have it all on your laptop, but I still miss, like, touching real knobs. Yeah, and, like, touching, right on. Like, you, do you know people, um, whether your peers or just, uh, I don't know, producers that would prefer digital? Are there people that oh, yeah, have an absolutely. overwhelming preference for that? I, I, absolutely. I say most people these okay. days do. Sometimes I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, then all you have is this. Right. But <laughs> no, and I have a room full of full of equipment <laughs> yeah. that, you know, is that breaks and I have to yeah. fix it yeah. on some deeper level. I feel more connected to right. what I do because it's, I'm touching it. <laughs> yeah, I like starting from scratch and just like, building something new mm -hmm. every time.